Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a holiday glam tutorial. To start off this look, I'm going to be using the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Hydrating Gel Moisturizer. I'm going to apply it all over my face. For today's eye look, I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill Palette. On the crease, I'm going to be using the color Crimsicle. This is a very nice transition shade. It's the perfect color. It's not too yellow and it's not too white. It's in between and I really, really like it for the crease. Now, below that color that we use on the crease, we're going to put the color Piyuki. It's going to be a little below Crimsicle, just to darken up the crease to give it a lot of depth. For the outer V of the eye look, we're going to use the color Mocha. And this will help to like open up the eye a little bit more so it looks more awakened. So to even darken up more the outer V to make it like pop, to make it even more awakened, we're going to be using the Central Park shade, the last one on the eyeshadow palette. I'm going to be using it now and I'm going to be using it later again to darken it up a little bit more. <laughs> Since I'm going to be using glitter for the eye look and I do not have a glitter glue, I'm going to be using concealer. And the one that I'm going to be using today is going to be the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer in the shade Light. This will help the glitter stay on in my eyes during the whole night. For the glitter, I'm going to be using the NYX Brilliance in the shade crystal I'm gonna be applying it all over the lid with my finger I feel like with the finger it's better than with a brush that's how I like it but if you want to use a brush you're more than welcome to do it like I said I was going to go back to the central part shade I'm gonna apply it again on the outer view of the eye just to like blend the glitter in the eyeshadow that we used earlier I'm going to use now just a little bit of eyeliner and I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Curvitude liner I'm gonna apply it really 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 close to the lash line so you can barely see it, it just to help the fake eyelashes blend with my regular lashes Before I apply lashes, I'm going to put some mascara and I'm going to use the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. Just to make them a little bit black so they blend really well with the fake lashes that I'm about to apply on my eyes. Oh, 
Okay, so now we're going to start with the face. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer in the color Neutralizing Green. This will help me with my redness that I have on my cheeks and it will make the foundation look even better. <music> For foundation, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the color Bronzy Beige. I'm going to apply it all over my face until all my redness is covered and all my dark circles are covered. To contour my face, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in the shade Dark Cocoa. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Better Skin Concealer from Maybelline to cover my dark circles, highlight my chin, my nose, and my forehead. To set my face, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm going to apply it all over my face and under my eyes. I'm going to bake for a little bit so it sets really, really good under the eye.
to bronze my face I'm gonna be using the hula bronzer from benefit I'm gonna apply it in my forehead my cheeks my jaw and a little bit on my nose For lashes today, I'm going to use the Eyelore lashes in the style Opulent. I really, really love these lashes. They're stunning and it looks really good with the eye look that we did today. For the lower lash line, I'm going to be using the same colors I use on my eyes today. Same exact colors. First, creamsicle, then pukey, mocha, and lastly, central park. Those are the colors I'm using on my lower lash line. For my bottom lashes, I'm going to use the voluminous primer to prime my lower lashes. This will make them longer and fuller. And this will help that when we apply the black mascara, they look, again, longer and fuller. For blush, I'm using the color Party from Tarte. Now for the best part, we're going to apply highlight. I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero Highlight Kit. I'm using the Kitty Cat and Glow Getter for my cheeks and my nose. Also, I'm going to use it in my bra bone and my cupid's bow.
for the inner corner I'm gonna use the color forever lit from the same Anastasia Beverly Hills okay But not least, I'm gonna apply the lipstick. I'm using the ColourPop Lippy Sticks in the color Trust Me. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I love how it came out. The glitter and the bold red lip. It's a really nice and easy glam for the holidays. If you like it, just give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave. I'll see you on my next video, guys. Bye!